old villain. The game's up. Unhand the girl and throw down your weapon. Never. You'll never take me alive. And the same goes for the girl. Inspector, be careful. In the world of sound recording, no two audio events require exactly the same acoustics. Musicians and their instruments, actors and their voices, solo artists, groups or orchestras, they each have specific audio requirements. In the past, this has meant either building a studio for a specific purpose, or, at the very least, spending a lot of time temporarily altering a studio's acoustics to suit the requirements. With recent developments in variable acoustic technology, that's no longer the case. Damn you, Inspector, you think you've got all the answers. In a recording studio, three main acoustic characteristics are required to a greater or lesser degree. Absorption, where sound is mostly absorbed by a surface with very little sound reflection. Diffusion, where sound striking a surface is scattered and distributed in all directions. And reflection, where most of the sound is reflected by a surface, like a mirror reflects light waves. The effect each surface has on a hand clap, for example, is obvious. Radio New Zealand and Computer Switch of Tasmania have, in a joint venture, developed a unique computer-controlled modular variable studio acoustic system. Variable acoustics aren't new. Computer Switch had already developed a variable acoustic system of adjustable absorption modules, along with the system's software to control them. These could provide absorption or diffusion according to requirements. Because of Computer Switch's experience in variable acoustics, Radio New Zealand worked with the company in developing the ADR. The studio walls are made up of movable triangular columns, collectively called ADR, which simply stands for absorption, diffusion and reflection. ADR is that all three acoustic properties can be introduced to whatever degree is necessary simply and quickly. The precise degree of adjustment available gives a wide reverberation range, spanning in the Auckland studio from 0.5 seconds to 1.5 seconds. Longer reverberation times will be possible in larger studios. The entire acoustic profile of the studio is controlled by the engineer. Not only can the acoustics be adjusted precisely in seconds, the settings can also be stored in the computer's memory, so that the next time the group wants to record, the studio setup as it is now can be duplicated within moments. The clear graphics display makes the system quick and easy to operate. The ADR columns and the adjustable absorption modules can be controlled individually, in groups, or as a total system. In fact, nearly all the studio's facilities and functions can be controlled with this centralised computer program. A feature of the diffusion surface is that musicians can work much closer to the walls than conventional studios have allowed in the past, as close as half a metre. Where this really pays off is in the cost of building a studio, because more musicians can fit into the space a variable acoustic studio can be of a smaller design. The ADR diffuser is so effective that acoustically it's as though the wall is not there. Within the studio itself, the acoustics can be fine-tuned using a laser remote control. The acoustic versatility of the studio can be heard as the acoustics are changed during this piece of music. Okay, people, stand by. Rolling.
You'll never get away with this. Oh, yes, I will. I have the girl and I'm taking her down to my dungeon. Altering the acoustics to suit during recording rather than later in audio post-production allows the performer greater feeling for the performance. In this and the following scenes, no audio processing or distant microphones have been used. A place of such evil and terror that even you won't dare follow. <laughs> I won't rest until I put this monster in the ground. So, the three main acoustic properties required in recording are absorption, diffusion, and reflection. The combination of the ADR columns and the adjustable absorption modules in the ceiling enables this studio to do the work of three or four dedicated studios. The ceiling absorption modules and triangular ADR columns are controlled either from the control room or by laser remote control in the studio itself. Particular acoustic profiles can be stored in the computer's memory and recalled at the touch of a button, avoiding the need for clumsy screens, allowing quick setups, and enabling a speedy turnaround. The widely variable reverberation times make this one studio as useful to a concert pianist or sax soloist as to a rock group or orchestra. The modular nature of this variable studio acoustic technology allows flexibility of design and the building of smaller studios. So this one VSA studio is suitable for rock, jazz, drama, classical, in fact almost every type of studio performance possible.